In this short tutorial video, I show you how to use Frisket to mask off an area to preserve it whilst using pastels. Hi everyone, welcome to part two of this Golden Retriever tutorial. In part one, we um, transferred our line drawing over directly onto our sheet of pastel mats. Now it's a bit faint for the eye to see but the drawing is down there and um, we use an indentation method for that one. So what I've done is I've literally just gone in around the outside with a pencil that I'm going to be using in the portrait itself. So you'll see a very fine, faint line there of um, I just I just use an ivory, one of my polychromas ivory, and I've just faintly outlined there. So that's the outline I want to do, use for masking. So what we're going to do is we're using uh, Frisket Original um, masking paper. And it comes on a roll, you can buy it in sheets, um, you can buy it in different widths and that as well. This is the width I've got on. It's actually perfect for this. So all I've done is measured across cut a strip to fit my sheet and then simply it's just sticky back so all I've done is peeled away the frisket from the backing paper and I've laid it carefully down over my dog now the frisket is just it's a low very low tack tape that you can use for masking so if I wanted to mask off the background area I could just cut the dog out and peel the dog away or I could just, in this case I want to mask the dog off whilst I do the background just to give it a little bit of extra protection. Now on a previous video I've shown you how to do this but using um, scissors just to cut this out and someone did suggest to me about trying it with a knife so I am going to try it with one of my ceramic knives. So all I'm going to do, it'd be better this if I could actually um, turn my sheet around. I'm just using enough pressure through here to cut through the frisket and not damage my pastel mat. What we should be able to do is afterwards hopefully, this is theory, it's just be able to pull this away. So anywhere that I haven't quite got the cut, I just go back into, make sure I've got it there. And using the knife like this just means I'm only having to do my line drawing once. Don't use the, don't need to use the light box like I used on a previous video. And this is where the only problem is up here. I wish if I had this freestanding on a board I'd be able to spin this around but because I've got this pinned down for you guys to be able to follow as a tutorial I'm gonna just have to cut this move, you know, just turn my hand. So I just see that this is lifting off okay. Yeah, it's working really well. So again, there's a couple of places there which just need a little bit more. great. So whilst I'm there I'm just going to snip that away, move that out of the way, and then you can see we've got a lovely outline there already masked off. It's difficult to see. If I drop the light I should be able to pick up the reflection or not. <laughs> um, you can see there that's the edge 
of the dry of the brisket. I'm just going to now. I'm going to carry on cutting around here. Okay. So it's going to need. I wanted to get this a little bit more like the outside edge of the fur. Normally with this cutter I'd have my finger through there, like I say if I was spinning the board around I was able to spin my support around that would be fine but I'm not because it's fixed but it is giving me a nice little raggedy edge there it's working well I hope my head's not in on here It's worth making this effort, especially if you feel that you, you're you not too clean when you work with pastels or with your background. Um, and remember, you could have done this and taken the inside, especially if you're working on something like white pastel mat. You could have done this and taken away the inside area. Just checking that on my reference later now. As we come down here, much more. Not straight, not straight line, but a continuous line. And there we go. So now take that down to the edge. Should hopefully be able to lift this up. Anywhere it just needs an extra cut I can go in there with. Just don't press too hard. Given a really nice jaggedy effect up there where we're just taking the same if you're spinning this around you should be able to get even more of a true reflection of the outside edge of the dog. Neaten this up a tiny bit as well if I need to snip any more off. But that seems to have worked really nice. I'm just going to take a little bit off that. And that's it. That's our masking off done. And I've done it pretty much on the outline that I drew. But the fur on the um, drawing itself is going to flick off up into that um, background when we come to doing our pencil work but for now we've just masked off our dog and we can just go pastel galore now on that outside area without any fear of any of it coming down onto here and then this will just simply lift off later on. Okay I'm just a tiny little straight bit there, that's it and then just press down my edges. So that is using Slice tool and a roll of brisket masking 
paper. So I hope that helps. Um, see, the way I did that, I mean, it, it's, it's nice and easy to use. You can use any craft knife, really. I just prefer using the ceramic blades. Um, and again, you can use this for masking off your background if you really do struggle with keeping that background clean. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube and you learned something or um, anything from the video, uh, please do give it a thumbs up below. And of course, please also hit the subscribe button down on the right hand side. It really does help my channel get views. Okay, thank you very much for watching.